North Dakota's rural communities have lots of opportunities to offer newcomers. We're partnering with the nonprofit Strength in ND for this sponsored content series. Rose Dunn talks to a man who now calls Crosby home and helps strengthen North Dakota. Born in Honolulu, Hawaii, raised in Hawaii. Many of us dream of a tropical Hawaiian vacation, but Jonathan Kohako flipped the script. If you would have told me three years ago that I'd be living in North Dakota doing this, I would have been like, sure, right, right. First an aunt and then his parents moved to Crosby, a small town in the far northwest corner of North Dakota several years ago. Then on a visit to them two years ago, Jonathan decided to say aloha to the state as well. I like it here, I really do. North Dakota is very cool, very nice. Jonathan says he's always felt the lure of the Western U.S. When I was a kid, I, I, my mom said I, I said I was gonna be a cowboy when I grew up. While he never did become a cowboy, Jonathan says this small community has given him a big opportunity to own his own business. In his shop, Hindsight Creations, he makes and sells printed materials. I do custom sublimation work. It's the same idea as heat transfer or silk screening, but with sublimation, it doesn't stay on the top. It becomes part of the material. He's kind of our little small town treasure. As Divide County's Community Development Director, it's Casey Lindsay's job to help businesses start or expand and help newcomers like Jonathan settle in. The Crosby area benefited from the oil boom while maintaining its small town charm, and there's plenty of room for more. We're able to have a community center with a new hockey arena and curling club, and a lot of organizations and events were you know, able to be boosted and grow, adding to the quality of life. We, we got a new pool and a splash pad, and so um, the influx from that, what that had brought us is great prosperity. It's a good place to live, definitely. And Jonathan says he doesn't even mind the winters. It's going to get cold. It's going to get cold. It's not intolerable. So is this home now? I'd say so, yeah. I, don't, I mean, I don't see myself leaving anytime soon. I don't see a reason to leave. Jonathan Kohako is happy to be part of what strengthens North Dakota. In Crosby, this is Rose Dunn for Ag Week. To learn how Strength in ND helps build big opportunities in small communities, visit strengthenND.com. Thanks for watching Ag Week on YouTube. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We post new videos every Saturday.